안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 전 나루입니다. 전 댕그리 뉴스의 기자예요. 인터뷰에 원해 주셔서 정말 감사합니다. 아, 카를로 쿤, 아, 수즈벤, 아, 다나스 가누마 콘스트문, 카레아 아, 에슬레그누 네 코시 켈딩스 라우메트. So uh, we are really glad to see you here and we appreciate that you agreed to the interview. So uh, Kazakhstan is the seventh country yeah, in your diplomatic experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how would you characterize the relationship between Korea and Kazakhstan? So as you know, the, we uh, recognized the independence of Kazakhstan uh, immediately after the independence of Kazakhstan mm -hmm. in 2000. Uh, 1992, and after that, uh, we have the strategic uh, partnership agreement that was uh, uh, signed in 2009. And then after that, uh, our uh, vital relation is uh, progressing very well. And uh, up to now, the 12 uh, presidents visit each other in total. So it means that every three years, Korean president visited this country. Mm -hmm. So in our country, the, uh, under the, our constitution, uh, one president can serve only one time for five years. Mm -hmm. During his term, his uh, most visit country is Kazakhstan, mean then uh, for us, Kazakhstan is a very important country. Earlier, it was reported that South Korea will officially accept citizens of Kazakhstan to work under the employment permit system. So uh, when will Kazakhs be able to work legally in South Korea with a guarantee of protection of their social and labor rights? So can you tell more about this system? Uh, yes, the, we have the uh, employment permit system. Uh, we are applying this employment permit, permit system to 17 countries, including three Central Asian countries, mm -hmm. Uzbekistan, uh, Kyrgyzstan and, and Tajikistan. Mm -hmm. So I think the, our negotiation with the Kazakh government is going well so far. So I'm expecting that we will apply that uh, Ipolum permit system to uh, Kazakh Kazakhstan uh, during this year, this year, I think. So then after that, then, then Kazakh people, uh, workers will work, can work, allowed to work in Korea uh, for three years. Uh, then, then we will provide for basic insurances, employment uh, insurance, uh, also the industry accident compensation insurance, mm -hmm. and health insurance and pension insurance. So that kind of uh, protection is very important for the, their safety and uh, welfare of Kazakh workers who will work in Korea. Yeah, so uh, this program will start in 2024, yeah? by the end of this year. I hope so. Yeah. yeah. So um, what will happen to the labor migrants from Kazakhstan who are already on the territory of the South Korea? Can you tell uh, more about the mechanism of this program? Yes, the, according, under the EPA system, EPS system, uh, then uh, the, uh, the, we will uh, coordinate with the Kazakh authorities to arrange a kind of uh, the testing for the uh, Kazakh uh, people who, who want to work in Korea. Mm -hmm. So language barrier is a very important issue without uh, properly understanding the instruction or the communication of the Korean employees and it causes a problem, I think. That's why language, certain level of language uh, skill is quite necessary for the Kazakh workers who, uh, who work in Korea. So there will be a small the Korean language test and after that uh, they will contact with the future Korean employees uh, online mm -hmm. and then there will be a agreement, I mean the work contract and then after that there will be a preparatory uh, training for adapting to new uh, Korean jobs. Uh, after that they can go to Korea. Yeah, so that is like great chance for Kazakh. Kazakh people who are working in Korea now, not, right now, it means that mm -hmm. they need to come back to Kazakhstan and apply for the EPS mm -hmm. from here. Then they are uh, eligible for the, their work in mm -hmm. Korea under the, the EPS in the future. 
So they need to return to Kazakhstan yeah, yeah, and then the apply to the system. Yeah. Yeah. So that's great. Uh, you know, the story of the Kazakh citizen Ali Akbar Yuldashev, who saved 10 people in South Korea, has become insanely popular in our country. Um, after the fire in the city of Yangyang in March 2020, Korean authorities has granted a special visa to him. So um, have you heard about this story and what can you tell about it? Uh, I have heard about it from the news and sacrificial uh, efforts. Uh, those people in danger. I think it's uh, humanitarian uh, efforts and awarding uh, and a special visa for him is a very light one uh, for the Korean authority to, to recognize and, and praise his uh, uh, great efforts. And also it will be commendable around the world, I think, including my country and Kazakh. So we should follow that kind of exemplary law to, to sacrifice himself or herself to save the other's uh, people. It's a very humanitarian and, and also unselfish uh, uh, acts. Your Excellency, I know that you have been living in Kazakhstan for almost a year. So uh, can you draw some conclusions about our country and Kazakh people? Uh, Kazakh people are very, how to say, very harmonious, even though the national composition is very diverse, more than 130 ethnic groups living together, and also the two big religions you have, so I mean the Islam and, and Orthodox. Yeah. So uh, even though those diversity, but uh, they are respecting the diversity and living together, and also Kazakh people uh, put a high priority on the, uh, their own unity and also the, uh, the, their respect for the elders and also the family values. So this country also very peaceful. But, uh, so as you know, these days is volatile, internationally very, very volatile. So the, and the uncertainty is prevail now. So, uh, despite that, uh, Kazakh maintain good relation with many countries uh, through their very effective uh, foreign policy called multi-vector diplomacy. I think that's uh, the wise and best choice to manage neighboring country and around the world. We know that um, K-pop is very popular in South Korea and uh, have you heard about Kazakh K-pop and do you listen to Kazakhstan music? Yes, I listen to the Kazakh uh, 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 K-pop. Uh, it's very similar to the K-pop and, and uh, very cheerful and also moving uh, melodies and messages. Uh, it's a very high quality. So even though I didn't understand the uh, uh, Kazakh language fully, but uh, the message is uh, very, very good because I translate it into English and I find out that the 91 and the male blend, uh, yeah. the band group, uh, they oh, are very popular. Founders. Yeah, very popular. And also their song, the Bari Bled. Bari Bled. It means that everyone knows. Yeah. So it's about the protection of the environment. So we are spoiled a lot of uh, environment. So we need to protect our endangered uh, nature and environment. I think that's a very good message. I think. That and also in 19, uh, 2019, I heard that they performed in Korea. I think that's very popular at the time. And so I think they will be getting popular, like K-pop and the CS country, then they will spread to around the world. But the problem is the language, language gap. Yeah. But music is the universal language, so they can overcome it. Uh, why not? Mm -hmm. What other singers uh, do you listen for? I mean, uh, our Kazakh bands or Kazakh singers? There are many, but I can't remember all. So, so the, I'll try to listen as many as uh, uh, Kazakh uh, songs. So, but uh, my, my language skill of Kazakh is uh, limited. Mm -hmm. 
I'm learning Kaza. Kaza is a very beautiful language. So we are belonging to the same language group. So, uh, so structure-wise, it's easy to uh, understand. But problem is the vocabulary is uh, so different. We are far from away. So there are not so many similarities in vocabularies. So uh, your favorite band is 91? No, yeah, I think so. Your Excellency, can you tell uh, what do Kazakhstan and South Korea trade and what is the volume of the trade uh, between the, uh, our countries? Uh, so uh, our bilateral trade is growing, growing very, very consistently. Even though the, 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 there is uh, some drop during the pandemic period, but it's now recovered fully. Then uh, in 2022, uh, the, it reached the, the peak, the record amount, over uh, 6.5 billion, billion US dollars. Our uh, trade is very complementary and beneficial each other because uh, the South Korea import very needed energy sources like the oil and uranium and also South Korea uh, exporting to Kazakhstan the very high quality uh, consumer goods like mm -hmm. cars, uh, cosmetics, and uh, the uh, air conditioners. So I think it will be good for each country. Also, we, are, uh, we have many Korean companies working here in, mm -hmm. in Kazakhstan. So more, more than the 350 projects, joint projects. So including the Kia Motors and uh, Hyundai Motors, uh, they are investing here and also the uh, SK Eco plant built the, the circular ring node of uh, uh, Almaty and also Lotte uh, company, they are now uh, heavy producing uh, confectionaries and also the consumer goods and also the, uh, there will be a big potential for more cooperation in the future, so including the, the various metals and also the, in the field of nuclear energy and also healthcare and education. There are so many areas uh, for us to cooperate which will be beneficial way. So that's great news, I think. Um, your Excellency, uh, what is your first thought when you arrived in Kazakhstan? Can you please share your impressions about our country? Oh, basically, this country is uh, very, it has a big, big potential, I think. <laughs> this country has uh, huge uh, natural resources and because of uh, IT uh, investment. So I, I was first surprised by the Caspi <laughs> card. It's yeah. very convenient. I can pay easily uh, with my mobile phone too. So uh, it's very convenient and uh, it's very developed. And, and also the Kazakh people are investing a lot in education. Nazarbayev University and uh, the Astana IT, IT University, University and also Eurasian University and Kazugu University mm -hmm. and also Al Farabi University. There are so many good universities and also uh, two weeks ago I met a, a, a bilateral talk I met with the Kazakh the science and, and higher education minister. Uh, mm. yeah, th at the time, I heard that Kazakh uh, uh, very much uh, making a lot of efforts to invite foreign university to, to make, make a branch or a joint uh, university here in Kazakhstan. I think that's good uh, investment for the future. And also, I received many government high-level high officers. Mm -hmm. Then usually they are giving me the, uh, giving me the, giving books, books, books about about Kazakhstan mm -hmm. as a gift. It mm -hmm. means that it shows that uh, the Kazakh people are uh, paying much attention to the education of their own people. Great. Um, so, uh, what is the similarities between Koreans and Kazakhs? What common values are in the mentality of the two countries? Korean people, uh, uh, they are uh, very much putting a lot of uh, investment in education. So, 
like a Kazakh people, and also we are uh, respecting the elderly, and also we are gathering during the New Year, Luna New Year holiday, like Norus, uh, uh, yeah, with uh, the relatives and family, and also we are uh, showing our respect for the ancestors during that time. And also the, we also put high value on uh, family relations. Uh, so, mm -hmm. and also we are from the same language group, Ura Altai language family group, and, and also the Oriental uh, culture. Uh, we are sharing the same Oriental culture. Mm -hmm. So there are many similarities. Even though the, we are far away and our nat natural uh, landscape is quite different because we are surrounded by sea, the Kazakhstan is a landlocked country. What is the role and influence of the ethnic Koreans living in Kazakhstan in terms of diplomatic relations between Kazakhstan and Korea? Uh, what initiatives are being taken to support and engage with ethnic Koreans in the country? Uh, yes, so Kazakh, uh, ethnic uh, Korean Kazakh, uh, they are big number here, uh, so 0.6% of uh, the Kazakh population, uh, around uh, 120,000 people, they are uh, playing a role of uh, bliss, uh, connecting our two countries closer. And actually they also economically very active uh, in um, introducing uh, Korean uh, businessmen to uh, Kazakhstan and also they also uh, uh, built the first uh, automobile uh, uh, assembly line mm -hmm. uh, in your country. So they are kind of uh, uh, helping uh, this country to economically diversify. So your country is very strong in oil and um, but uh, manufacturing field, I think uh, uh, your country uh, investing a lot. So I think that kind of uh, uh, efforts uh, will be very necessary to diversify the economy. Ethnic Korean Kazakh also contributing to developing uh, uh, the economically in your country and also connecting our two countries together. So their role is very to connecting to two countries closer and closer. Mm, that's good. Do you know that uh, Koreans and Kazakhs also um, have similar traditions? Um, for example, our Kazakh tradition, uh, which is named Tsaukesu, it's similar to the Korean tradition Toljanchi or uh -huh. Toljabi. Uh -huh. I know that like Koreans sit at the child uh, on the center of the table and around the baby lots of objects like uh, money, books and so on. And the choice of the baby is like symbolizes his or her future. And it's also the same for Kazakh tradition. Yeah. So uh, can you tell more about the history of this tradition and maybe, you know, also similar traditions in our cultures? Uh, in Korea, it's a childbirth is a big happiness for the newly married couples. And also the, in, in the past, uh, uh, because of lack of uh, food, lack of medicine, uh, hygiene, at the time, the, the, the living up to the one year anniversary is a uh, big issue, not, deep, not easy one. Yeah. So that's why we are celebrating one year anniversary and at the time we put uh, some good things in front of the baby and then allowed to pick one. So then we are thinking it's a, a, sig a kind of signal for the baby's future. If mm. the baby put the, the pencil, then maybe he will be educated well. Or he, he, he uh, take the long sled of line, then it means that it will be longevity. Took the, the rice, then it means the, the richness, mm. like that. So I think it's a big celebration. In Korea also, we are celebrating 60 year anniversary. Mm. And 60 year means uh, it's a very long longevity in, in the past. Nowadays, uh, everybody living up to 60, no problem, but in the past is a uh, big, big uh, the rare case, I think. That's why uh, we are celebrating 60 year anniversary. 
So we are celebrating 6th anniversary together with many people invited and we had a big party. Maybe Kazakh has a similar one? Yeah, like, you know, Kazakh celebrate everything like 50s uh, anniversary, 60s, 70s. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's common. And I know that like in Doljanchi, you wear for the baby hanbok. And it's also the same in Kazakh tradition. We also wear uh, to the baby our Kazakh traditional clothes. So it's the same one. Yeah. So uh, what educational programs and scholarships are available for students from Kazakhstan looking to study in South Korea? Um, are there existing some partnerships uh, between universities of both countries and is there a planning in the future to expand such programs? Yes, that's true. The education in Korea, we call it a very important uh, project. It, it should be the investment for the next 100 years. So that's why uh, in Korea the, the education for next generation is quite important for the national development and also success of the next generation. So that's why uh, we are also cooperating with the Kazakhstan in the field of education. In Korea we have the G KS uh, government show, government sponsored the scholarship yeah. program, yeah. Global uh, Korea Scholarship Program. Mm -hmm. So uh, under the scholarship program, uh, we are inviting the Kazakh students uh, uh, about 40 uh, the, the undergraduates and also the graduate students to Korea for their the master's degree and uh, doctor's degree. Korean uh, educational institution are uh, also sending the teachers uh, to, to Kazakhstan. So up to uh, today, uh, from 2013, uh, 28 mm -hmm. uh, teachers dispatched to, uh, were dispatched to this country. Uh, they are teaching Korean language, Korean culture, Korean uh, uh, the history, uh, and Korean education system. So it will be helpful to, to Corporate uh, in the field, and also the, as you mentioned, the, the university uh, uh, level cooperation. Uh, last year, it the uh, Korea Seoul uh, uh, Tech University started the cooperate with the Kuzur Orda University uh, to renovate the, their IT department, mm -hmm. and also they are planning to make the business incubator center. Uh, so, up to they, they will cooperate up to the 2027, and then uh, it will be a very good example. You know that Korean wave is affected all the world, and we have lots of people, Kazakh people, who want to travel to South Korea. So, uh, what advice would you give to tourists from Kazakhstan who want to travel to South Korea? Korea is different from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan is so big and it's a landlocked country. Um, my country is uh, the one, uh, 27th <laughs> of your country. So it's, just, it's quite small compared to your country, but uh, it's mountainous. Uh, we have the, uh, many mountains. 70% of our land is uh, mountains. Mm -hmm. And also the, we are surrounded by sea, sea, three sides, because it's peninsula. So the, I think uh, uh, Kazakh travelers can visit uh, the mountains and also the beaches. Uh, mm -hmm. And also uh, in Korea, we have the uh, dynasty kingdom. So yeah. they have some uh, palaces uh, remaining. And also the, in the mountain, there are the Buddhist temples. Mm -hmm. So temple stay will be very unique. Too, and also we have the volcano island in Jeju. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeju is the southernmost uh, island and biggest one, and uh, we call it honeymoon island because uh, new couples are happy to there and enjoy uh, their honeymoon. It's uh, unique because of the volcano island. Mm -hmm. So and also K-pop and K-medicine and K-cosmetics and shopping and. There are many things to enjoy, I think, and also healthcare too. So, uh, do you think Kazakhstan has the potential to become a popular country in any industry, just like Korea with cosmetics? 
Already Kazakh is very strong in the industry of uh, uh, energy and uh, uranium. Uh, you have rich resources. And also, uh, your people are very high convention, convention business. So your people are well organized. Astana is a kind of the uh, future city, very well established, very beautiful. And in the, in the evening, the, the neon sign and uh, the, the, the flight of the lights make it, uh, this Astana making a kind of Paris or London <laughs> look like. So it's, uh, your people are very good at that one. So that industry will have the big potential and also the KBR. I think it will be a very good item uh, to uh, uh, export to my country mm -hmm. because KBR is very expensive and healthy food. Your culture, your tourism, I think uh, it will be unique. So the Korean people are very much like golf. They want to come to Almaty and to enjoy golf, uh, then come back to Korea. So, because the, your nature is very beautiful, uh, and uh, the uh, recreation business uh, growing, I think it will be a good combination, promising uh, uh, field of industry in the future, I think. In Kazakhstan, many people are crazy about Korean food especially about ramyeon. You can see dozens of different types of this product on our store shelves. So uh, to what extent does Kazakhstan buy ramyeon every year and how can you explain the popularity of this product in our country? So ramyeon, uh, actually ramyeon is a very convenient food. Anytime you can enjoy it. During the, uh, uh, your trip to foreign country, you can bring ramyeon and, and you can boil water then put together and it's easy to have. So uh, it's very convenient and also the uh, Korean drama uh, uh, actors and uh, idols, they are also promoting uh, mm -hmm. ramen's popularity during their uh, uh, drama and movie scene, they are usually enjoying ramen. <laughs> mm -hmm. So because they are smiling and enjoying together with the other people, so it's easy to eat also, the, it's easy to make, so why not? So I, I, I fully understand the popularity of ramen is going well and getting, getting uh, popular and popular in your country. And also Korea is exporting various kinds of ramen, very kinds. Uh, the, it's the spicy one, also the mild one, and also the, the different kinds of ingredients. So there are a variety of ramen in Korea, so so you can enjoy this kind of ramen, spicy one. Then let, next time you can enjoy the sweet one or mm -hmm. with the seafood. So you can enjoy every kinds of ramen anytime, anywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. So, um, is there any product from Kazakhstan that is popular in Korea? Yeah, I heard that uh, Korean people are enjoying the. Uh, Kazakh honey mm -hmm. and also chocolate. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, I, I bought uh, chocolate here, and then the decoration is so good and so beautiful. And also, mm -hmm. taste is also very smooth and very enjoyable taste. Mm -hmm. So, why not? So, your, your chocolate and also your honey. So, honey from the, uh, from the mountain areas is very rich and also high quality. Uh, so I think uh, it's getting popular in Korea now. Yeah. So uh, end of this question, um, what is your favorite dish in Kazakh cuisine? Oh, I like uh, two Kazakh <laughs> dishes very much. Uh, first of all, the Veshimark. Veshibarumark. Mm -hmm. So the, it's huge, <laughs> really huge. And, and lots they, of meat. <laughs> yeah, lots of meat and also onions and also the, the noodle and also soup. Yeah. So it's a very healthy food, I think. I like uh, uh, the, the boiled uh, uh, meat or fish because I think roasted one, fried one, I think it's not good for health. Yeah. But the boiled one, uh, it's healthy and also it's well cooked and it means that I can uh, easily digest it.
digested and enjoy it. So I like Beshi uh, Barmak very much, and I also enjoyed Beshi Barmak uh, in in Aktau. Mm -hmm. At the time, I enjoyed Beshi Barmak with the uh, sturgeon. Uh, uh, fish Barmak. Yeah, yeah Fish yeah. Barmak. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's region has different kinds of uh, main main ingredients. So I think mm -hmm. it's yeah, unity of uh, Kazakhstan. I think, and also I like Manti. Uh, mm -hmm. In Korea, we have mandu. Uh, the France is very similar. The name and also taste is similar, but the ingredient is all different. In our country, usually we put more vegetables and mm -hmm. bean curds, uh, less meat. But the uh, Kazakh people are uh, people of uh, uh, loving uh, meat, and, and there are lots of meats. So I can enjoy Korean mandu. Uh, with vegetables and bean curd and less meat, but here I can enjoy uh, manti with lots of meat. Uh, uh, yeah. Very enjoyable. Have you tried yet uh, our traditional food, borsak? Uh, don't you see any similarities with Korean food as kiranpan? Uh, yeah. Borsak is the bread, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. It's easy to uh, eat. Uh, my wife is very much like mm. <laughs> Baruchak. So every uh, restaurant, she's uh, ordering uh, Baruchak. That's why I'm eating together. It's easy to eat because it's uh, soft and uh, we can enjoy with with other foods because it's not so strong. The taste is not so strong and then I can enjoy the other food together with uh, Baruchak. As there are a large number of ethnic Koreans living in Kazakhstan. Uh, over the decades, they have developed their own cuisine. So, uh, how different is local Korean cuisine from that in South Korea? So, in Korea, the, our people are very much like a, a spicy one. Mm -hmm. So, in our country, people are try to put uh, red peppers uh, and also garlic in every me food of fo uh, uh, meal. And then that's why the, our foods are spicy, spicy, more spicy than uh, the, the, the Korean food uh, localized in Kazakhstan. Also, we put different ingredients. So we, we are surrounded by the sea, so we are put more fishes. But mm -hmm. here, the, the, your people are eat very much like meats. So this cooks, Gukshi or uh, this gukshi and this ramen, uh, there are more meats inside. In our case, uh, we have put more fish than meat. Our uh, ethnic Koreans living in Kazakhstan, they called uh, like these salads from carrot as Korean food. I know that it is uh, not similar uh, in Korea. What do you think about it? Yes, uh, actually the, we don't have this uh, uh, carrot salad in Korea. Yeah. Uh, because uh, the, we, we put uh, this kimchi, Chinese uh, cabbage, rather than the, uh, uh, carrot. We also put more pepper, red pepper, so color is like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, the carrot salad uh, is not so red like this, without pepper. So mm -hmm. the, the taste is different, but the style is the same, I think. Basically, it's originated from uh, paste. Uh, of USSR because they are deported from uh, there to here in 1937 by Stalin. So they brought the same uh, uh, skill mm -hmm. of making food, but the uh, ingredients are different here. Yeah. So they are inventing, <laughs> kind of inventing. So they are uh, uh, using the different ingredient, uh, making the, uh, uh, the original Korean food, so that's why uh, there is so, so, some difference, but basically it's the same concept. Yeah, and they uh, like to call it Korean food. How do you see uh, the future of relations between South Korea and Kazakhstan? So our future relation will be very bright, uh, because so far so good. I mean then uh, since our diplomatic relation established in 1992, uh, just uh, uh, immediately after the independence of Kazakhstan. Uh, and then so far, the, our president visited each other so for 12 times already. Mm -hmm. 
So every Korean president are visiting uh, this uh, great country uh, almost every three years uh, since uh, 2004. So I think uh, the tra trend will continue. I think that, that means that uh, the leaders are agreeing each other for the uh, good project, uh, mutually win-win project. Then people will come together and implement the agreement. Then there will be more cooperation and business-wise, so, uh, we are uh, it mutually helpful. I mean, the, the, we need the, the uh, very important energy sources like uh, the oil and uranium heavily depend on uh, your export, and also we are exporting the high-quality uh, consumer goods. Uh, so we are also working. Uh, very well in your development of manufacturing industry, including car industry. So we are mutually beneficial and complementary. So that's why our future cooperation will be very bright. Mm -hmm. So uh, Your Excellency, thank you for your time and thank you for the interview. Wishing you success in your work. Uh, I'm very happy to have, you, have this interview. Uh, I wish you all the best for your Tangri News mission um, completed. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you.